let's discuss some tips and recommendations for using scan ladder in practice. So the first recommendation about the placement of the scan ladder themselves. If we look at this model the way we've orientated each one of these, we've positioned them to be centrally focused. If the scan bodies are directed too much away from each other, then the more frames have to be used when it's scanning the bigger area we have to scan. That's going to be counterproductive to the idea and philosophy of positioning these in a centrally focused way. The second tip here is to make sure that they don't overlap or put pressure on each other. So the scan bodies need to be directed so that there is a slight gap in between each of the scan bodies. If there's any overlap or compression between each one of the scan bodies, it could potentially stop them from seating or even affect the accuracy of the scan. The third tip is to make sure that the scan bodies sit just nicely onto the soft tissue without any compression and without any uh, undue, unnecessary discomfort to the patient because the multi-unit is too deep. So if you have that problem, perhaps you should look at whether that multi-unit needs to be brought up close to the surface of the soft tissue so that the scan bodies don't compress onto that soft tissue. The next tip is to make sure that when you're using the scanner, the scanner itself doesn't knock any of the scan bodies and cause them to become loose. If you knock the scan bodies, then you'll have to start that scanning session again because the scan bodies will change position. We have the benefit of the cylinders, so you could, in theory, take off that portion that's misscanned and rescan that area. But I would recommend starting a fresh scan simply because it's so quick to rescan these when they're self centrally positioned. The next tip is to make sure that if you keep everything going um, with the scanning, AI feature turned off. So if you're running the scanner with an AI feature, what can sometimes happen is it can mistakenly reproduce anatomy from the scan bodies or the soft tissue and distort the overall image. So we want to turn off the AI so that that scanner picks up those frames perfectly and also so that you don't lose track during the scan. In terms of being able to scan the scan bodies themselves, the final tip is to make sure that as you're scanning, we don't want any interferences. So good control of the soft tissues, making sure that the area itself is clear, but more importantly, so that the, the scan bodies are dry and the field is dry, so that you can be able to scan this nicely. And that includes even in a bloody arch, which would be just after surgery, we wanna make sure that the tops of those scan bodies are nice and clean and dry. Other than that, if you have any questions about use, you're more than welcome to get in touch with us on the WhatsApp private support group or via email at info at scanladder.com and we'll be able to get back to you with any questions.